Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to change the oil on a BMW. This procedure applies to pretty much any car, but just make sure that you look at your owner's manual for the right oil specifications. But anyway, let's get right into it. All right, here's everything that you need to change the oil. Jack, axle stand, socket wrench, bucket to drain the old oil into, funnel, your oil, and your oil filter. For my 2006 3 Series, I'm gonna be using six and a half quarts of Castrol Edge 0W40 full synthetic European formula. And a couple things to look for on this bottle. Um, this is one of only a few oils that meets the requirements for BMW Long Life, which mentions it right here. And also look for Made in Germany on the bottle too. And just in case you still had any doubt about what brand to use, it actually says Castrol right on the cap there. So the first thing that I like to do is to check the oil level, and since this car doesn't have a diff stick, this at least gives you an idea at a glance of what the oil level is like. Um, don't worry about that little triangle there that's just telling me that my washer fluid is low. Alright, so here's the oil drain plug. Usually there would be a door here, but it looks like mine fell off and you just want to position the bucket under it and get ready to move it because the oil doesn't drain straight down it goes on a little bit of an angle so anyway it takes a 17 millimeter socket and just be ready for the oil to come down <sighs> obviously this wasn't the cleanest way to do it but whatever Alright, so the next thing is removing the oil filter. Now, fortunately, it's super easy on this car because the filter's right on top. You should be able to re remove this with your hand. Just be careful because it's super hot. So, just use a rag and just put some strength into it. So, here's the old filter. And just throw this out and then on your cap there's two gaskets that we have to replace there's a rubber one right here a small one and then a larger one that goes around this outside so your new oil filter if you get a good quality brand it's going to include the new gaskets that you need so if that's the case you can actually just go ahead and um, cut the old ones off with a knife it'll make it a lot easier Once those are on, you can take some oil and just uh, lube it up around the edge too. All right, and then just put your new filter in and screw the top back on. All right, and then the worst part of the whole thing is finding your uh, drain plug. So I'm gonna change this gasket out, screw it back in, and we should be good to go. All right, so you just wanna turn it, and it opens up just like that. All right, so make sure before you put the new oil in that you have your drain plug in, otherwise your oil's just gonna go right on the street. So with your drain plug in place, just carefully pour this in. Don't make a mess. All right, and then once you're done with the car level on the ground, you can go ahead and check the oil level and make sure that it's correct. All right guys, we just got done changing the oil. It's super easy. You're gonna save yourself a ton of money versus going to the dealership. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.